friends myself mehul kodia from lg institute of engineering and technology so in last session we discuss about uh, uh, some numerical based on uh, gyroscopic effect on ship so in today's session we start one interesting topic that is gyroscopic effect on four wheel clear so which type of effect is occur while taking left turn or right turn clear so we have to discuss this thing in this lecture clear which type of effect is occur in four wheel due to gyroscope okay now there is a two types of condition for the car for first one is a stable condition and second one is for the unstable condition now what is stable condition for the car if load distribute equally from all the wheel at that time we consider that condition condition of car is in stable condition clear the load means the weight of the car distribute equally in all the four wheel clear suppose weight of the car is mg at that time uh, uh, reaction of each wheel that is mg by 4 so this condition we consider as a stable condition clear now what is the unstable condition so while you taking a turn at very high speed now due to centrifugal force and reactive gyroscopic couple the inner wheel of car try to lift out clear so this is the just because of the reactive gyroscopic effect clear and effect of the centrifugal force so we have to discuss this thing over here which type of effect is occurs while taking turn in left side turn or right side turn in car the engine is work like a big gyroscope clear because any of the body having one solid disc at that time that body consider as a gyroscopic device clear so two to we discuss two condition first one is a stable condition and second one is a unstable condition now we see gyroscopic effect only in the unstable condition clear okay now this is a simple line diagram of car in this diagram you see that that is two inner wheel and two outer wheel is there car take a left side turn fc indicate the centrifugal force and cg the distance between earth surface and cg indicates small h clear this is a simple line diagram now before starting this theory we have to discuss some basic terminology of that clear so consider a four wheel automotive vehicle as shown in figure the engine is mounted at the rear with its cranks are parallel to the rear axle clear let small m is indicate the mass of the vehicle clear and we have to consider mass in kilogram next one is capital w that is weight of vehicle and you all know weight of vehicle is equal to mg next one is small h it is the height of center of gravity of vehicle it is the distance between center of gravity and earth surface clear next is small r w it is radius of the wheel next one is capital r is the radius of track of curvature clear okay now next capital i w indicate mass moment of inertia of each wheel clear capital i e indicate mass moment of inertia of rotating parts of engine clear in rotating parts of engine you consider flywheel and crankshaft clear omega w indicate angular velocity of wheel clear and omega e indicate angular velocity of engine now next capital g is a gear ratio it is a ratio of angular velocity of engine to the angular velocity of wheel so capital g is equal to omega e upon omega w here gear ratio next capital v it is the linear velocity of vehicle now you all know what is the relationship between angular velocity and linear velocity that is linear velocity capital v is equal to omega into r clear next is small x this is a wheel track now what is wheel track it is the distance between front two wheel of car clear and what is wheel base small b it is a distance between front wheel and rear wheel clear so you have to remember all this terminology clear for the learning this topic now this is a simple line diagram for the car this is a top view of the car now car try to take a left turn if suppose this is a car and if car try to take a left turn at that time this uh, this two will consider as a inner wheel and this two will consider as a outer wheel 
clear so you see in this figure now this distance between front two wheel that is wheel track indicated as a small x and distance between front wheel and rear wheel that is wheel base indicated by small v clear and car take a left turn if car take a left turn at that time centrifugal force occur in the outward direction clear so we have to discuss which type of effect occurs while car take a left turn which type of gyroscopic effect is occurs so first of all we have to derive some basic uh, equation for that right? suppose first one that is reaction due to weight of vehicle clear so in this case we consider load distribute equally in all the four wheels so weight of vehicle assume that weight of the vehicle is equally distributed over four wheel therefore force on each wheel acting downward is mg by 4 and the reaction by road surface on wheel acting upward direction so what is the equation for the reaction of wheel each wheel that is mg by 4 clear so this is the first equation reaction due to weight of vehicle now second effect of gyroscopic couple due to wheel now you all know what is the equation of reactive gyroscopic couple that is i omega omega p but in this case the car had a four wheel so we have to multiply this equation with four because the equation of reactive gyroscopic couple i omega omega p for this single body clear but in this uh, case we have a four wheel so we have to multiply this equation with four so equation of the reactive gyroscopic couple due to wheel that is cw is equal to four i omega omega p now we discuss about the wheel so we have to use small w as a suffix so equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple that is cw is equal to four times i w omega w omega p here i w indicate mass moment of inertia of wheel omega w indicate angular velocity of the wheel and omega p indicate angular velocity of axis of precession here yeah. so this is the equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple due to wheel now second one effect of gyroscopic couple due to engine rotating parts of engine clear so the equation of the reactive gyroscopic couple that is i e omega e omega p clear now you all know what is the relationship between angular velocity of wheel angular velocity of engine and gear ratio clear you all know what is the equation of gear ratio that is g is equal to omega e upon omega w so based on this equation you can write omega e is equal to gear ratio into angular velocity of wheel omega w so put this value over here so equation converted in the form of i e into g omega w omega p clear so this is the equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple due to engine now total gyroscopic couple equation for the total gyroscopic couple so we have to add uh, gyroscopic effect due to wheel and gyroscopic effect due to engine so we have to add these two wheel so equation is total reactive gyroscopic couple c is equal to uh, reactive gyroscopic couple due to wheel plus reactive gyroscopic couple due to engine put these two equation over here and you take common value as a omega w and omega p so this equation converted in the form of omega w omega p in bracket 4 i w plus or minus i e into g now plus or minus sign indicate if the direction of rotation for the wheel and engine is in same direction at that time we have to use plus sign if direction of wheel and direction of engine is in opposite direction at that time we have to use minus sign over here clear so this is the equation for the total reactive gyroscopic couple clear so in this lecture we discuss about reactive gyroscopic couple and also we derive equation for the weight or reaction of the wheel also we discuss about the equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple due to wheel also we discuss about the reactive gyroscopic couple due to rotating parts of engine clear in rotating parts of engine the equation is i e omega e omega p now instead of omega e we put g into omega w because we already discussed about what is gear ratio it is the ratio of 
angular velocity of ng to the angular velocity of v omega e upon omega w so based on this equation omega e is equal to g into omega w we put this value over here clear so we derive three equation equation first equation is reaction of v that is mg by 4 second equation reactive gyroscopic couple due to v that is 4i w omega w omega p third equation effect of gyroscopic couple due to engine that is ce is equal to ie omega e omega p and last one is a total reactive gyroscopic couple so if direction of rotation for the wheel and engine is in same direction at that time we have to add this two value and if direction of rotation of wheel and engine is in opposite direction at that time we have to subtract this two value clear so total equation for the total reactive gyroscopic couple that is omega e omega p in bracket 4iw plus or minus i into g in this case omega w indicate angular velocity of wheel so we have to find angular velocity of wheel so we have to use now we have the equation for the uh, relationship between linear velocity and angular velocity clear that is v is equal to omega into r so omega is equal to v by r so we have to find the value of angular velocity of wheel based on the velocity and radius of the wheel that is omega w is equal to v by r but r indicate the radius of the wheel and what is omega p that is angular velocity of axis of precession so omega p is equal to also v by r but at that time we have to consider r as a radius of curvature clear in this case in uh, angular velocity of wheel at that time we have to consider radius of the wheel. Is omega p indicate omega p indicate angular velocity of axis of precession so equation of the angular velocity of axis of precession that is v by r but at that time we have to consider r as a radius of curvature clear